And we're back with some more RimWorld. And we're struggling here to get rid of this. This annoying toxic spewer is causing us no end of problems, but Cisco is out here. They've got the highest morale because of the catharsis they experienced recently. And, well, their toxic buildup was quite small when they started, though that's not being helped by standing out here in the middle of the toxic fog, shooting this, doing 2% damage a hit, roughly, when they do hit. Yeah, there, well, that's one. That's sort of weak sauce. Hopefully, hopefully that will be done soon and we can get back to normal production of food and crops. Everyone else is pretty much sleeping off the last six days of insanity, which involved a lot of things dying. Six days in this whole colony has... We've gained three members, but we, we had to do a lot to gain those three members. Oh, finally. That took way too long. That took way, way, way too long. Cisco, back to work, buddy. Okay, grab, grab a snack. All right, there was some suggestions made that we leave these turrets here. Uh, reason being, you know, they act as sort of a layer of defense. However, there's a problem with that. They sort of intersect with this edge of the map. That means any trade caravans that come back can get hit. Now, I don't care about other people's trade caravans. I care about mine. If I send out anyone trading now, there's a chance that they might come back onto the map through this area. And if they do, well, they'll end up dead. Or, well, trapped inside that area and there's no way I'm going in after them. So, we need to find a way to get rid of those soon. And what the... Someone had a corpse obsession, didn't they? Where did you put it? Where did you put the corpse? They always stick it on a dining table somewhere. Uh, I gotta go corpse hunting. Due to a lack of Molotovs just yet, the uh, quickest way I've got of disposing of corpses is... Well, grenades. We'll just toss a few grenades in here, and while it takes a minute or two, it will dispose of corpses. It just slowly eats away at their HP. Until they're gone. Uh, it appears we have a marriage ceremony going on. Who's who's getting married? Uh, I want to say Data and Kira. Yeah, they're... Yeah. Gotta be those two. Perfect, this is going to give everyone a great big mood boost and should tide us over. We have quite nicely recovered though from all of that fighting. We've managed to repair everything up, get everywhere cleaned up, no one's on the verge of mental breaking, though we are a little bit short on bricks and things. Everyone, well, some of our key members were down for a while due to injuries. But now that everyone's back on their feet, we've segmented them all into their, their jobs. So we've got plant build, science craft, hunt cut, blah blah blah, and then we've got our newest member here, number nine. Number nine is going to be... As suggested in the comments, they're a hearth tender, so they said they should be called Guinan, which, yeah, you know what, I'll go with that. They're going to spend all their time indoors anyway. They're, they've got a great memory, they're an undergrounder, and they've got a, a big bonus to crafting. They're going to be crafting all of our clothing, all of our weapons, everything, armor, all of that stuff, once we get our science done. Currently our research, yeah, Cisco is 100% dedicated to nothing but research now. That is their only job, because we need tech, and we need it fast. Let's have a quick review of everyone's jobs in this colony. Currently, we'll start actually with Cisco. Cisco is our science person. They're the only one who have any decent science skill at all, so they're hard at work doing all their science. Uh, Worf, on the other hand, their best attribute is their neurotic, which gives them a 20% global work speed bonus, so I have assigned them to making rocks. I like to think that they just keep headbutting them until they turn into bricks. They, they could also do social, but that's pretty much it, so it's either social or hunting. Uh, after that, we've got Neelix. Neelix is currently just cooking, cooking, and doing some more cooking. If they're not cooking, they end up doing some constructing on the side. Then we've got Data over here. Their primary focus is actually animals. They're brilliant with animals, but we've also got them as side gig in mining. They do all of our mining, though we've got quite a bit of uh, steel already banked up thanks to all of their hired labour. Then we've got Julian over here, Seven of Nine, I should say. Uh, Seven of Nine is set up to do primarily art, and then after that they're going to end up doing, oh, what was it, hunting. So they were art first, then hunting. They're putting statues together for all of our rooms. Uh, Kira here is pretty much dedicated entirely towards construction. However, her minor in cooking, we're trying to level that up so she can eventually become a backup cook. So she does all the butchering. Uh, if you'll check here under... Yeah, ah, there we go. Uh, cooking is for Neelix, but butchering is done by Kira. That will help level her skill without risk of getting anyone any, you know, food poisoning because all she's going to be doing is butchering. After that, we've got Guinan, and they are rolling up some doobies right there. So they're our crafter. They'll do everything to do with crafting, and then as a secondary, they'll do animals. But so long as we've got everything queued up right, they should always have something to do. Oh, and finally, we have Picard. Now, Picard was, is our best constructor. However, they're also our best planter. They spend most of their time planting now. Uh, there's just so much planting to be done and so much wood to be chopped down that they haven't had a chance to do any construction in a while. However, you know, that's, that's one of the benefits of having someone who's pretty good at a few different things. Anyway, it's been a while since we've got attacked by anything, so things seem to be going well and Cassandra doesn't seem angry yet.
Well, it turns out Cassandra has not forgotten about us. Several groups of imp Imperials from the Empire of Dao have arrived in transport pubs nearby. They will prepare for a while, then attack. Uh, immediately bring all our animals home. Uh, yeah, everyone just get into the loading area for now. Where's all our people? Uh, I think seven of nine is the only one who's a hunter. They're the furthest one away. Let's just slow this down and see where they're landing. Okay, that's actually not too bad. They're far away. How are you doing? Ooh. Ooh, I don't like the... Oh, charge rifles. Let me have a quick gander. Let's see what we're up against. So yes, this this is a lot of trouble. These four over here are quite dangerous because they're all equipped with shield belts and close combat weaponry and quite heavily armoured. Yet, yeah, they're gonna be hard to take down. Getting into close combat with them would probably be a big mistake. At the same time, they've also got someone there with a, a nice bio-coated -co charge lance just to make our lives even better. Down over here, they're all ranged and they're pretty nasty. You've got a, a few light, lightly armoured ones here with, you know, some assault rifles, heavy SMGs, LMGs, and they've just got flak vests, flak jackets, flak pants. They, you know, they're pretty well armoured, but then you've got these three monsters. They have got cataphract armour on, and yes, cataphract armour, more cataphract armour, more cataphract armour. And not only that, they all come with the armour skinned land, so they're really tough. Like, really, really tough. Hmm. I think we wait until they all come and see, because if they can get, if some of them get distracted by this, we would be doing well. <laughs> if those end up going down that direction, that would save us an awful lot of effort. And then I can save that uh, shock lance we've got. Oh, do I still have one of those left? Yes, we do. Psychic insanity lance. I think we use that on one of the armored skin cataphracts. I really do not want to face one of them, and hopefully it'll slow them down, tangle them up. Uh, Let's uh, let everyone do their thing for now. Uh, let's keep an eye on Seven. I don't want Seven drifting too far. Ooh. They've already attracted people's attention. That that works out perfectly. And yeah, let's hope that uh, gets rid of that little problem. Well, that did not go well. Uh, it turns out these things are really tough. And, yep. I think two of them took scratches. This one got, yes, a scratch and a bruise. Uh, this one over here actually got a gunshot. Light charge blaster, bru a couple of bruises and a couple of gunshots. Still not in any immediate danger, though their consciousness has been reduced to 75%, which is what I like to see. And none of them have any good medical stuff to keep them going. Right, this is not good. Not good in the slightest. We've got to lure them around to this kill box entrance. Time to go opening the correct doors, uh, luring them in here. Yeah, this is not going to be fun, is it? All right, the Empire are beginning their assault. Uh, Kira, forget what you're doing. We need to weapon everyone up and get them over to our little me melee kill box. We're going to need every edge we can get. So I'm thinking these Silent Neuroformers, it's time Kira got a dose of them. So we're going to get you to use that one and see what you get. Might be something that helps. You never know. Gain a silent level. What have you got going on? Burden. Slows the short target for a short time. Suppressing motor activity in the brain. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not very great. You know what? Why don't you grab that one and up upgrade to silent level two? Oh, wow. Uh, Worf? Are you okay, buddy? No, you're not. Your entire shoulder's gone. Someone took your entire shoulder off. Wow. Okay. Um. That's not good. <laughs> like, his entire arm is gone. Uh, that's really going to slow down your, your ability to make bricks later on. Uh. Sorry? <laughs> oh no. All right, and then we still have to deal with this group. Though this group has no close combat weaponry. So, uh, seven? Yeah, you're going to have to take over, though we're going to immediately have to have Cisco get Worf. Uh, you're going to immediately have to rescue Worf. What did you get as a second ability? Let's hope it's something useful. It is Blinding Pulse. Okay, obscuring vision of everyone near the target point, so we can blind people. Right, that... Uh, that's okay. You know what? Let's find someone down here who needs to be uh, messed up. 
who is the best of the lot of you? You've got a shooting skill of eight, melee of six. Ooh, should we take the one with the better melee skill? That might be the idea. So if we take you and we psychic shock lance you. Hmm. That might cause them a few problems. Yeah. It's pretty much our... Let's activate this and put it on this one. That should hopefully convince them that... Picard! Why? What? <clears throat> My bad. Uh, you. You're going to run up there straight away. Picard's down. Okay. That is wonderful. Picard, how long are you going to live? Please tell me it's not going to be short. Okay, where is Cisco? Cisco, you were supposed to be carrying Wharf somewhere. Cool. Okay, a couple of them are distracted. Kira, you have got grenades, so we are going to take you over here, and you're going to help out. Ooh, that's two traps for you to eat, buddy. Cisco, no, no, don't, don't, don't go that way. We are going to say no, and we're also going to say no to that. And how long has Worf got left? Six hours. You need to take care of them. Okay, those two people are injured. That will make their deaths easier to obtain. And how are these two doing down here? You know what? I don't care. So long as they're pounding each other into bits, I don't care. Uh, Picard, 12 hours. Okay, Picard is safer than Worf is. Okay, come on. Oh, you. Go right there. And you. Ooh. It's risky using grenades at this close distance. Ow! You shit! Oh. Well, bye-bye, Data. You were really good, too. You were one of our best. Oh, all those beautiful skills, you are only minor. And they just... Two bullets. Well, this is not going well. Okie dokie, then. So, what's next up? They've got to bring in a couple more people. And how is Worf doing? Well, Cisco's on the way to try and save them. This is not going well. Oh, you know what? We're throwing a grenade in there. Don't care. Yep, I think I got him. Linux, how you doing, buddy? Ooh, you got a few hits on you, too. Okay. They're fleeing. They're fleeing, that's fine. So, we've lost another colonist. Oh, why did it have to be Data? Two shots got him. Neelix took how many? Wow, he looked took four shots. Good good job, buddy. You're a trooper. Uh-huh. You don't are you still firing? You know what? Let's uh let's tell you to not do that. Okay. Whew. Uh how are we looking down here? Oh, you beat them to death, and now you are fleeing in panic. You know what? I am okay with that. I'm not even gonna bother chasing after them, should I? I should probably bother chasing after them if there were anything decent on them. If we could just knock them unconscious, that would be great. Pain block level one. Hmm, let me do some thinking here. Well, we managed to hunt down one of them. One of them escaped because it turns out that a heavy SMG couldn't penetrate the armor. The one down here got immediately dropped by the light SMG for some bizarre reason, but yeah, unfortunately they died. It's a pity. I uh, would have liked to, you know, recover one of the people we lost in this. But... That's the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, where's Picard and Neelix? Okay, so Neelix is going to need some emergency medical attention. Uh, Picard is being brought back. Worf is now safe, and Cisco is go getting some more medicine. You know what? I should really stock some medical herbs this side and that side, just to stop this from happening all the time. Uh, having to run back and forth for medicine. That was far too expensive. They're too tough when they come in. They just have their equipment is so far beyond you, you can't take them out. Not in a heads up battle. Uh, I've made a mistake there. I've changed the uh, the quest system now. I'm going to have to become friendly with the Empire of Dao in some way. I cannot keep having those attacks. They are just too painful. <laughs> Pirates, fine. Malium, whatever. Tribals, don't care. But these guys, they are way too tough, at least for now. Until we get some better tech, I'm going to have to just stay away from them. We have buried data in the fridge, just in case. Well, it's highly unlikely, but if we get our hands on a Resurrector Mech Serum, it would be nice. Plus, you know, they served us well, even if they did die very quickly to a, to a light machine gun, I think. Oh, we can delete that. 
Ah, damn it. Right, we've run out of storage space here, and at the same time, we've got a mechanite cluster has showed up over this side. From what I can tell, there doesn't seem to be an activation on this. They're just dormant for the time being. Initiates in 12 days. The rest of them are all dormant, so we have 12 days to take out that mortar, unless something else triggers it. I don't want that mortar firing on my base. Uh, we might want to get in there... Mm. Get in close, toss a grenade in there, and then maybe... Hopefully take that out very quickly. If it gets off one shot, that could be bad. Two or three would be terrifying. Uh, yeah, let's get the team together. What time is it? It is... Six hours in the morning. I think we can get everyone together now. Though, wait, no. We have to wait till everyone's healed up. Everyone's still a little bit the worst from where... Oh, and Worf needs a new arm. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's not good. Sorry, buddy. I've had to load in the heat map mod because some of my animals were going off and I couldn't figure out why. Turns out, even with three of these, I'm not able to drive the temperature down. It keeps... I don't know what's going on. Why is it spiking all over the place like that? That is... How is that at 22 degrees? I may need to put in another cooler. I already stuck in a third one. A fourth one may be necessary to get this down. I I don't know what happened. It was working fine for so long. And uh, let's put in a fourth one and get Kira in on that, shall we? Oh, finally. We've got... We've got some research done. Right. That unlocks... Uh, the advanced electric, um, the advanced research table and the orbital comms console. The comms console is something we really need. On the high-tech research bench, we also really need that. Those two things, they could be lifesavers to us. Assuming we get lucky. Oh, research-wise, though, we do want to continue on. Uh, next thing we're going to want to get is smithing, machining, and then straight into... Where is it? Gunsmithing. That was the one. Because the moment we get gunsmithing, we can get our hands on smoke launchers. But to get gunsmithing, we need machining, and to get machining, we need smithing. So, smithing time it is. Let's research some of that, shall we? And let's see if we can't get our fridge to work correctly again. I don't know, maybe it's the heat outside has gone up way too high. While we're waiting for, uh, well, us to get the necessary resources, we're going to perform some uh, modifications to this uh, prisoner. Uh, the reason we kept them around is we wanted to train up Neelix's medical skill. So we're going to install a peg leg and hopefully crank Neelix's medical skill up by a bit. Let's see what they're at. Medical-wise, you're looking at six. Okay, that's not bad. Let's see if we can get you up to seven, shall we? We're close enough today. Ooh, excellent. You know what? We'll leave it till tomorrow and we'll start another operation. I just want to do one a day. You do more than one a day, you kind of lose out. You'll usually get so much experience out of doing two in a day that it's, it's kind of a waste. Eh, let's uh, skip this forward a bit. I haven't gone near these yet. I'm trying to uh, build up this little area put in our... Oh, okay. I've put in the high-tech research bench so we can increase the research speed for Cisco. Then I want to wall this in and we're going to turn this into, well, later on a hospital, but this is going to be our industrial area, so that's where our comms console is going to go and a few other things. Need to get this built, though. Ooh, a combat supplier. That, that's, that's excellent. Let's hope, let's hope above hope that they have a smoke launcher. Uh, that would be amazing. Needed orbital power trades. We can, yep, yep, that's that's fine. We can produce one of those. Uh, where did I put those? Miscellaneous, I believe. All right, all of our trade beacons installed. I stuck in three. I don't care. I want to be able to get rid of everything if we need to. Uh, where do we put Cisco? They're our best trader. Cisco, I know research is absolutely critically important, but I do need you to check this out. Please tell me. Oh, all our prayers are answered. It's a smoke launcher. Oh, yes. Well, not all our prayers are answered, but at least some... Oh my god, they have such good stuff. And we don't. Cataphract armor tech print. Well, that's miles away. We're not getting that. And uh, let's see what we can sell. Let's see what we can buy. We did have to sell a bunch of smoke leaf joints and some ambrosia. But we got a decent deal out of this. Where is it? Where did it land? Uh, we got ourselves a smoke launcher, a flak vest, and some Molotov cocktails. All things we are going to need. Now, what time is it? It's six o'clock in the morning. You know what? Let's load up and go shopping. All right, let's be very, very quiet. It's rabbit season. Now, Worf, you only have one arm, so we'll give you a weapon that we don't care about. This one here. Now, this will stop the turrets shooting at us if we've done it right. So, let's see. Perfect. Now, if we stand inside there, the turrets can't hit us. The pikemen and the lancer, however, they can totally kill us. So I think the plan will be we will get everyone here and we shall line them up, say, right about there. Okay, except for Kira. 
Kira's job will be to go up and toss a grenade around the corner and into the middle of that mess. And then once she has drawn their attention... Hmm, where are we going to put this grenade? I think we're going to try for here. Eh, we'll probably miss by one, but that's fine. Uh, you should probably run. There we go. We've gotten their attention. Now they've got one scyther. Hmm, you maybe toss a grenade right about there. Okay, okay. Oop, Worf, pull back. How did you get shot already? You were like a magnet for, for just getting hurt. Oh, that grenade did perfectly. So where is the last one? Come on, pikemen, come around the corner. Pikemen's not moving? Okay. In that case, we'll send up someone to fire some grenades in there. Okay, we just need to get close enough to take out this. All we want to do is take out that uh, mortar. At the fire jet? Oop, come on, come on, come on. Just one more. That's okay, that's as much as we're risking. That pikeman's coming. Seriously. Come on, pikeman, around the corner. Face us. Or stay there. Whichever you prefer. In fact, all we have left is one turret. We might just want to... No, I'm not going to rush around the corner. I'm going to take my time. Kira can go back to uh, lobbing grenades at that turret as soon as... Oh, no, that's a miss. One more. Just one... <sighs> Another miss. Just one more. You know what? That's That pikeman's way too close. You need to run. Come on, pikeman. You know you want to. Come on. Oh, there we go. Right, bloody time. Uh, you know what? That thing's looking very dangerous. You. <sighs> right, Cisco, please tell me you're not badly hurt. No immediate danger. Worf, how are you doing? Of course you're going to bleed out in 12 hours. You know what, buddy? You actually know we need the smoke launcher from you, don't we? Just to make sure we can take out this final turret. You're going to put your smoke right there. Come on, hurry up. All right, we'll take all the scraps home. Uh, yeah, turns out smoke grenade launcher is very handy for taking care of those suckers. It just make, means the turrets can't nail you. That was very... Uh, you know what? After the death of Data, I'm not even going to call that good luck. I'm just going to call that uh, Cassandra deciding to be benevolent. Oh, and all the commotion I forgot to mention. Uh, wait, what are you doing in there? You should not be allowed. Uh, but, um... Yeah, new lovers, Seven of Nine and Guinan, they're basically moved in together, so I've given them a bed, they're settled in, they're all sorted. Kira's a little bit down, of course, uh, reason being Data's dead, who was her husband and her friend, uh, but we, we gave her the best bedroom of all of them, and that's making her slightly happy. Also, she's got Sanguine, which is really helping, otherwise we'd be dealing with a lot of mental breaks right about now. Now, in quests, we've got one here, the Brigands Outpost, which will, if we kill five enemies, give us this fella, Morikal, which... Uh, they're a slowpoke neurotic. I really don't want one of those. I mean, the mining I would like, I have, they're, they're the best miner I, I've got, because currently my highest mining skill is two, but unfortunately they kind of suck at everything, so I think we're just going to be ignoring that quest and continuing on our way. I have been rethinking this quest for Moracle. I understand that they, well, they suck a lot. Uh, they, they're only going to be good for mining, and we've already got someone to cover artistic, but you know what? We can't really be choosers. We're trying to get 25 pawns in 25 cycles. Uh, we've got nine so far. I know there's ones that are dead, but that's sort of part and parcel. We're, we're trying to score as many points as we can here. Uh, rules are in the description if you care about the rules. So, yeah, I kind of have to pretty much take every pawn thrown my way, so I think we will have to accept this quest. It's just a case of how long do we have before... Hmm, expires in 3.4 days. We're going to have to send at least two people if there's going to be five of them there. I'm going to have to make sure they're heavily armed and armoured. Hmm. I think we'll wait until our research is done before we go. I think what we're going to try and do is get our hands on some plate mail. Just because currently we don't have good enough armour and we can't make good enough armour and won't be able to for a while. Alright, plate armour is done. Unfortunately, I just realised I don't have enough steel, do I, to make any. <laughs> I need a miner for that. But uh, yeah, we're going to continue on the machining path. I would like to get into drug production for the money, but I think the first thing we've got to do is get our hands on some flak armor and some heavy SMGs. I want everyone to have a... Where is it? Yeah, a heavy SMG. I want everyone to have one of those, or something equivalent. 
So we'll go straight into the machining table and from there we'll get flak and from there afterwards we'll go into gas operation. Just because we need something decent to hold off against what's going to be coming our way. Oh, quest-wise, how is that looking? 21 hours, you know what? We're going to accept it and see how long we have to do it. Uh... Yeah, expires in 24 days. Oh, we've got time. We've got time. We can also take the camp loot loot while we're at it. I just remembered. We have... Where is it? Yes, right here. We have one of these unknown danger, ancient danger things. Let's go tap into it. There might be some colonists in there that we could, you know, collect to our side. Well, maybe, maybe not, but I'm willing to take that chance. Oh, and how are we doing in here? We're using this as Kira's meditation spot. Uh, she's slowly but surely meditating down here to keep her psi powers up. So it's slowly growing grass. But what we can do, this is pretty much our only way of increasing our psi power. So long as we're an enemy of the Empire, the trees are the only way of uh, cranking up your levels. As in, once we've grown enough grass, I think it's like 19 grass. This thing grows grass as you meditate around it. Once you've grown nine or 18 of them, you can level up your character. So Kira there will be able to go from a level 2 to a level 3. Though I think the higher you go up, the more grass it takes. So I think to get to level 3, it might take 20 grass or something like that. I think 22 is the most grass it takes, and that's from level 5 to level 6. Uh, don't, don't quote me on that. This is just rough. I did some testing a while back. So from what I can tell, this is the only way we're ever going to be able to increase our levels, so long as we're an enemy of the Empire. And I just want to get friendly enough with the Empire that they stop sending those death squads after me. They have caused both of our casualties so far. Uh, Janeway got shot by a charge lance they had, and Data got riddled by machine gun fire from one of their uh, people, and Worf lost an entire arm. Yeah, sorry about that, Worf. Uh, we'll uh, get a squad together, and I think we're going to go tap in here and see what we've got to uh, play with. Now, I don't want to be too close when I open this up, so I'm just going to beat this wall down a bit and shoot it from a distance. Well, that's the plan. Oops, may have been got a bit too close. Uh, we got a, a lancer in there. What's that? Psychic shock lance. Legendary Charge Lance. Okay, okay. Don't freak, don't freak. Psychic Insanity Lance. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, Lancer. Lancer is a problem. Um, animals. Yes, we will get... Uh, we will make a quick animal zone for... Where is it? Yes, defense area. You will be right there. We're going to have to clear the old one. Uh, allow me to just do a little bit of manual messing about here. All right, we've got uh, all the animals going there to hopefully block that area. We're going to get Guinan out of here. Come on, Guinan, run, 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 run. I don't want you getting caught up in that. Okay, so... This does not appear to be chasing us. I think we'll just uh, maybe make the defense area a little bit further back for now. Oh, animals, come on. Oh, it's coming anyway. Oh, oh. Yes, it's attacking the alpacas. That is exactly what we want. Well, not exactly what we want, but it does mean it's... It, it gives us a chance to shoot it in the back. Come on. Just, just die. Okay, 7 of 9. I want you to get a bit closer before you start unloading there. This actually worked out really well. Boom. And right, let's open up this second layer. I have no idea what's in there. Um... Should we get rid of this stuff first? Oh, you know what? We've got everyone here. We might as well get everything done. Uh, though I think we will get rid of the Psychic Insanity Lance. And that, oh, that Charge Lance Legendary, we're picking that up right now. That thing looks amazing. You know what? I'm going to get all this stuff hauled out. Oh, seven. Nice. Uh, Neelix, you know what? We're not going to have you hang around. We're going to have you haul that sniper rifle back. We'll leave behind seven of nine in Cisco. And we'll have the two of them take care of the rest of this. All right, let's see what's in here. And it's nothing. Okay. In that case, let's go open these Crisco sleep caskets. Ah, crypto sleep caskets. I think we should just be able to. If you shoot them, does it activate them? I'm pretty sure. Hmm. I think if you just clip them. There we go. You are going to want to get out of there immediately. Oh, wow. That charge lance just insta gibbed them. Oh my god. Oh, they were so good. How's this one doing? Bionic arm? Crypto sleep sickness. How are you looking on the health front? Okay, your consciousness is reduced. 
Uh, you have terrible shooting. You're super immune, fast learner. Animals, crafting. No mining, though. Pity. Did this one have mining? Oh my god, that it burn. <laughs> fine. It's fine. It's fine. So we're going to go up and punch them a lot. What's their gear like? Mm, torso shell. That means they're actually pretty good. I think if we run up close to them and melee them down, it would be in our best interests. Okay. Mm, you know what? What if we were to put, say, our defensive area for our animals, like, right there? And we were to clear the defensive area for right there. Would that provide enough of a distraction? Yep. Perfect. Uh, let's get in there, people. Okay, hopefully... How's she doing on the health front? Yep, dead as a doornail. Pity. Pity, pity, pity. That would have been really nice to have someone else. Oh well, uh, at least we get the weaponry that was in here. Mm, pity, I was hoping for more. Some new recruits would have been nice. Anyway, let's clean up this mess. Alright, we've... Uh, I, I think we've had enough for one day. This has gone over the 30 minute mark. We have unfortunately lost data, so we've gone back one point in terms of score. We've also gone on into September, which means, what is it, we were four, five, six... By the time it hits the fifth, we'll be six seasons in. Six out of 25, that's, that's not good. We need more people. We need more people and we need more tech, we need more everything. I need to go on some sort of mass recruitment drive, I'm just not sure exactly how to do it. Once we get the machining in, flak armor and the guns, I think... We might have to do a sidestep just to get drug production. If we can get Psychite Refinement up and running, what that will do for us is we can just start making lots of cash, and with that we can just start throwing money at our problems. Of course we'll get bigger raids, but we can throw money at, say, uh, the Empire, uh, so they hopefully stop throwing those massively uh, annoying destroying machines at us. Anyway, we'll, we'll see what happens in the next episode, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and good luck. Mm -hmm.